I don't see anyone in here yet. The second I do, I will issue a greeting. Oh, yes, I do. There's people in here. Welcome, friends. Welcome. I'm refreshing my own stream page. All right. Do you see anyone in there quick? No, not yet. Um. What's going on? No, it's just not. It's saying your live chat just now on your Twitch page. Hmm. Anyone who is watching. I mean, it's going to be interesting, because yeah, like, you'll be... I'm hearing you five seconds in the future. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> well, no, Hi, because everyone. what I'm seeing on my screen, isn't it? It's, uh, because I'm hearing you real time. Yep, you're like hearing me real time. And... Well, so as far as giving me advice, we'll see how this goes. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. This is your flamingo, and of course, Quick Hatch is being my lovely ghost today. So we'll see how this goes, because there may be an audio video lag. I think it's important to notice I, I just waved at my phone like a <laughs> see me. Just a oh, bit of a clown. <laughs> oh. Okay. So let's see how it goes. It's giving me audio quite loud as far as like the game itself, so you may have to shout at me, Oh my don't do that! You moron! You fool! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What? I'll try and give you tips as we go. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Online, offline, does it make a difference? Um, it depends. It depends on how quick you get to your first boss. Oh, gosh. And then you may want to call on some help. So if I play, so if I start offline, oh, and just for everyone who's watching this, I have only ever watched like a couple lore videos, which is part of why I, I have wanted to play this. But knowing that it's difficult, I just kind of set it off to the side and said, I will never be good enough to try yeah. this. So, so I have what no idea on know? gameplay other than that it's very difficult. Okay. So you'll have to I'll tell me, say... do I want to start offline or start online? To be honest, uh, this early on in the game is pretty irrelevant. Okay. Um, I mean, you'll see some of the cool niche things that's very characteristic of FromSoft, in that they will have like little messengers where they leave you like notes. In the very, very beginning, these notes are pretty much just the dev team giving you the controls. Gotcha. Um, my best advice I could best two bits of advice I'm going to give you is keep moving, circle is going to be your dodge button and that's okay Ah, so by hitting you get... Gotcha. Got it, okay. I am adjusting the audio mix a little better for myself. I don't know if it's going to affect you all in the stream. But I want to make sure I can hear quick. Ooh! The babies say hello. Hello, babies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Undertale it's like a weird kind of difficult um, 
but it's definitely not like <laughs> what I'm assuming this is going to be. It's definitely not. Okay. Can you still hear me all right, everybody? Cool, cool. All right. So, so we're back in. I'm sure, this, I'm sure this stream will tell us soon enough. Okay. I'm going to play online just for kicks. Yeah, why awesome. Not? The main thing is that I couldn't hear him over the music super well. Um, my being deaf anyway. Okay, <laughs> mm. online mode. Uh, um, oh, the Cut character scenes. creation is just... It's awful. So don't try and don't try and create a masterpiece. It's, you, <laughs> they, <laughs> they never look good. Guys, never I'm a big good. Freddy cat, so the, bl the brightness is going all the way up. <sighs> it is... Okay, next. Normal, normal. Sensitivity at five. Oh, that is oh, so, yeah. so, so sad that you can't see the cutscenes. So right now it's all blacked out. <laughs> no, we can see you adjusting your. Well, you've come to the right place. Your sayings. Yarnum is the home. So it's just started a cutscene on my end. You need only unravel. Interestingly, the um. The Twitch chat has Where's banned the word cut. It instantly asterisked, asterisked it Easy. out. <laughs> well, we'll just learn as a group, right? As yeah. this goes on. First, you'll need a contract. I'm sure there are plenty of like tutorials for Twitch and such, but honestly, I'd rather just do things myself. Hey, Vlad, and I see everybody else. I really do. Milk toast. Milk toast. Okay, what am I? What am I naming? Is it Big Boss Bird? Hmm. Um, Big Boss. You might not have enough characters to do Big Boss Bird. Maybe just Big Bird. Big Bird. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, like, milk. To, I mean, whether you're milk <laughs> toast or not. Since when have you ever cared about how many characters are in Milk Toast? Big Boss. <laughs> no, so Milk Toast is like your. Personality? Know, your. Yeah, in a sense, it basically determines your stats, your starting stats, which I can give you a brief run through. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just fiddling around here. Yeah, that's all right. Um, so, blood level, that's basically what level you are. Uh-huh. Whatever. Blood echoes is basically the currency of the game, which you then use to buy certain items and level up. Okay. Um, these are the things that if you basically die twice or without well if you die and then don't get back to where you died you will lose all of your blood echoes oh so you have to get back to where your body is and collect things is yeah. that the okay yeah. or kill a nearby enemy that near to where you died okay so, yeah it's not quite straightforward um vitality is your health essentially um, a lot of these have like side abilities too, like endurance is you have an endurance meter, so obviously that affects your how much you can dodge and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and how many hits you can do before you get tired. Um, sh strength and skill are essentially you either have a strength or a skill build. So strength for like typically heavier, harder hitting weapons, skill slower hitting I mean so quicker but less damage kind of weapons per hit okay gotcha yeah. um, blood's tinge is all about your gun basically um, Ooh. so you have a gun it gun. doesn't do any damage really it's a mechanic for reposting with so to basically get a critical hit or a critical attack ah uh, okay so you have to wait until a crit so, is available and then you go ahead and use your gun yeah. You've got to time it. It's kind of like a parry mechanic. Okay. Okay. Um, but I'll show you when we come to. There's a certain enemy that is really great to practice on. Um, so for now, perhaps just use it as kind of like a distancing kind of thing when you get your gun. Anyway, um, there are weapons later on that use blood tinge as part of one of their weapon transformations. Okay. Um, and then arcane is kind of magic so you get some magic potential later on um i've never done an arcane build um, I'm <laughs> very familiar with that, to be honest. oh i love magics yeah. but you know i'm kind of between it i 
I would rather focus on, you know, close combat is not my particular yeah. skill, so oh, I'd rather work on to, it. It's going to have to be a skill you develop. Exactly, <laughs> I always prefer to, to be here. off and snipe, so I'd rather play a game it's that I'm not love great at. It's magic as well, it's like tentacles out of hands and stuff. Oh, but that it's is so cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> so, are you okay. ready for your zero death run then? No, I saw Please, someone yeah. say that. You uh, you guys better know that this is mostly for laughs and entertainment. We'll see <laughs> how awful this is. Okay, so is there a build you recommend? Just knowing that about me that I don't... I mean, if I go in, it's like big brash button mashing kind of so combat skill. I would skill. say then, look, perhaps look for the highest vitality. Okay. Um, so yeah. So like maybe Lone there. Survivor. Possibly, I don't know. It hasn't changed on my screen. <laughs> oh no, that's right. We gotta wait five seconds. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just look at vitality people. numbers. Yeah, so check out vitality, and then I don't know. If you're a button masher, you probably want to go with a, a skill build, get you you know faster hitting weapons and so on. It's a bit of a higher kind of skill ceiling. I okay. Think, with, okay. With those kind of builds, but. I don't know, if you're a button masher, high vitality, high skill will probably do alright. So military veteran puts vitality at 10 and skill at 13. Lone survivor puts vitality at 14 and skill at 10. Ooh, what's the endurance on both of those? Um, lone survivor is 11, military veteran is 10. Oh, it's a toughie. It's a toughie. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you pick. Either one of those two, I think, yeah, either of those two would be a better option. Well, let's let the chat pick. How about that? Which which do you yeah, prefer? Sure. Trash Pandy says Lone. Lone Survivor, Military Veteran, mm. folks. And I know there's a lag between what you're seeing and what I'm seeing, too. Lone. Yeah. No, Nguyen, I have done nothing with the werewolf. No, no, we're in character <laughs> creation in a minute. Just explaining some of the base stats, what they what they do. Yeah. And so on. I'm so glad you're here for my first run, quick. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it is funny that military veteran actually is, yeah. uh, is you know, an option, but come on, guys, have I got, what, two votes for loan and going one for once? The military. Go what was that? And one for military, yeah. Going once. Yeah. I mean, you could go full hardcore and go waste of skin. <laughs> okay, like, we got three for loan. Proper, proper baptism of fire. There. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I feel about that. We've got three for three for loan and two for veteran. It's still so close, so close, y'all. Uh, I'm I'm going waste of skin. <laughs> That's my vote. It's three and three. No, 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 no. I'm gonna oh, give it five more seconds. More loans. Oh, the delay on Twitch is pretty good, okay. Yeah, so the Twitch chat is coming up quicker than the... On screen? The comment chat that, yeah, you've got on your screen, I think. Yeah, we're getting more loans. Okay, we'll do loan. That's that, as much as I wanted to do. Appearance, huh? Do we care about appearance? Entirely Mature, I already you. did this. I mean, you could, you could spend hours on character creation and get... Oh, right. I'm sure. Really? I'm just going to go with... Just go... Standard. Female, random, random, random. <laughs> yep. Uh, how do I go back? Okay. Finish. Finalize my contract. Giant nose. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm a bird. I get it. Ha. Huh. Yeah, but would a female Rob have a beard? I, I, Guys, you know I'm reading the chat right now because I'm nervous because that is not going to happen while I'm focusing on this. <laughs> I know, 15 yeah, no, of you guys are in here. Oh, go ahead, sorry, quick. Yeah, there's 15, it's, it's pumped, there's loads. Um, I was just going to say to, to Nguyen that while it is a third party game, you spend most of your time with a hat or cloak of some kind, so you don't see too much of it. That's a good life strategy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, just cover up. <laughs> So as ever with dog barking, guys, I apologize. Um, 
Ollie is my pup and Andy is more my partners. And he was, Ollie was quite upset when I was playing Tetris without him on Wednesday. So I've let them upstairs to hang out. Um, I may scream a few times. <laughs> they won't like it at all. <laughs> oh. Technically, you can do a zero deaths even from the beginning. So I don't. There's two ways you can get away with not dying in the beginning. Um, but it's. Well, why can't we try game. it? Why? Why you can't can we try just it. try it? <laughs> you right. can try it. I'll. Uh, I'll. Uh, I'll <laughs> Have I'll you tried you, it? Uh, yeah, I've done both ways. Oh, listen to you. Well, so I'm not good enough to try it, but you've done it I'm both ways. I'm not saying that. Just, <laughs> that I've, got, I've got years of practice. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just try it and see how horribly badly yeah. it goes. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, the point is that you die. Like, that is the point. Um, otherwise, it gets very hard and very confusing very quickly. You found mm. yourself a hunter. Go for it. All right. Eo so what is that, Eovska? How do you even pronounce these things? When you guys are talking about it, is it just like, yeah, you kind of make up the pronunciation? <laughs> it's uh, Yosefka. Yosefka? Okay. Yeah. I'm pushing buttons to see what they do. Yeah. Okay, I'm so pressing. you're still getting up. <laughs> Me. But um, general buttons, uh, R1, light attack, R2, heavy attack. L1 is your transformation Ooh. button. So basically weapons can be in two forms. Um, single handed or double handed usually. Okay. Um, and you can in your combos you can use L1 to trans to do a basically a transformation attack. So it's another attack which then converts it into a two handed after it's done. So you don't have to worry about breaking up your combo or your flow. Okay. If you want to switch from one to the other. But there we go. Um, like I said, the circles dodge, R3 lock on. Don't have any healing or anything yet to worry about, so... I'm I'm naked, skill-wise. Not clothing-wise, yeah. but... Okay. Can I go out this door? Is that a bad idea? I don't know which door. <laughs> oh, that's right, you can't see! Oh, guys, this is what makes it extra fun. Quick has a delay. So there's a... What is this thing on the floor? Like a save point? View it, notes. It'll generally... The things on the floor will be messengers. Ah. So these are the ones that... At the minute, they'll just be the devs telling you the buttons. Waffle Keeper. Um, but later on, you'll get... Because particularly if you're playing online, you'll get some... Um, yeah, you'll get messages from other players who have left notes behind for you. Nice. As I level, level up, as it were. So there's a, there's obviously the one they want me to go to. It's a door with a light. And then there's a door without a light. You guys are going to learn so much, like when you watch me play Tetris about my brain. I'm like, well, there's a door back here where there's no light. Maybe I should go to that door. We're going to give it a try. Ah! New ones like it does not open from that side. Okay, yeah, fine. Tell you, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty linear at this point. Channelizing. Or is it channel? No, it's channelizing. All right, opening the door. All right, devs, what do you got for me? Beware of liar. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how helpful that is. Is that you? Or are you the liar? Beware of liar. Oh. Who knows? We're getting some West Ham disses in the chat as well. Oh no! This is outrageous and disgusting <laughs> behaviour. <laughs> I assume that's a hunter spectral that kind of figure that I'm seeing. It's, there's a lot of beware of liar in here. Oh, uh, dog! So yeah, beware, is... right, guys? Beware. So that's that's kind of for something later on. Um, it makes sense, it makes sense, but if more you play into it. And as I've mentioned, I've only barely... Attack is R1. Oh yeah, it's telling me the buttons. Guys, this is going to be painfully slow at the beginning, for which I apologize. I will try not to also do my classic loot everything method. But at the very beginning, to I'm be honest, nervous. This isn't much of a looter kind of game. Like, the 
items that you can pick up are very painfully obvious. It's not like you go down, there's hidden chests everywhere. Oh, you know, there are a couple gotcha. of hidden items, but everything's... This game's arguably hard enough without <laughs> hiding loads of stuff from you. <laughs> Good, so I'm not going to miss it. It's not like um, in uh, Border... Oh, there's a wolf. It's not like in Borderlands where I'm going to... Uh, like, want to loot everything after a battle. Okay, so there's the werewolf thing that I know about from <laughs> everyone. So circle is dodge, and then I just have basically my... Oh, you can't get over encumbered. Um... Yeah, I know that's the best thing, not being able to be over encumbered. So good. So what do I do? I... Can I sneak by? Is there like a sneaking function? There is no... You can walk, but it's not... And that's kind of a sneaking thing. But uh, that's about it. There's no crouch to get past. Oh god, guys, my heart rate's already up. This is it. It's this up. Is, this, is, <laughs> this is where Bloodborne begins. We need to pull a Dave and, like, stick Shut a heart rate, rate monitor thing, to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, don't forget R3 to lock on. R3 to lock on. Don't engage. Don't engage until you can get that oh. lock on. And don't forget to dodge. I don't know his attack patterns either. It's so funny because there's like a tiny bit of a button delay too. Ah! I died! <laughs> no! <laughs> Guys, this is the first one. 21 minutes into the stream. It's all right. We won't count it. No, I think it's somebody fine. should. I actually think somebody should. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I mean that Wolverine's pretty brutal, but you are meant to die there. Um, like I said, there are a couple of ways of getting past it, but you are meant to die here because it introduces you to the hunter's the, uh, dream. The Is hub. that the the hunter's dream, the hub of the game, really? Hmm. I just like my weapon suspenders or whatever these things are on this character. <laughs> my fashion. hood and weapon suspenders. Yeah, it's the it's the fashion souls or <laughs> fashion souls in the community because it's all about looking good while you kill things. View specter. Do the specters do anything or do they just look cool? The specters. Mm -hmm. It says view specter. Oh, uh, so that will be. Um, okay, because it's the red glowing one, I'm seeing it now. So that'll be just basically before someone dies. This is their final actions before they die. Oh, interesting. Red one. Yeah. Um, interesting. So you, so There's if a ton you come of across them. those kind of blood, blood stains, then you can somewhat predict what killed them and then potentially not die yourself. Yeah. It's one of the benefits of playing online. Interesting. I know this is such an old, quote-unquote, old game, so it must be really interesting for people to see me, like, not know any of this stuff years and years later. I'm kind of running downhill. I know I should probably go toward that building. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, it's good to explore. It's closed. As you can imagine, given my previous profession, I just like to know what's going on before I jump into <laughs> something. Don't worry, this is completely safe. This is a completely safe area. Okay. Unless you pick a fight. Even uh, even then. So everyone even in the chat is quick more of a Rob about this or more of a Dave about this? Is he telling me it's completely safe but leaving out something? No. <laughs> I I'm being more of a Dave. Why would I do that? Why is this close? Why would I do that? <laughs> It's hard, it's hard to be duplicitous when I'm watching it five seconds in the past. I know! I wish we could... I don't know if there's a way we could fix that. Oh, I get a firearm! Right, okay, so the two firearm options you have should be the pistol and the blunderbuss. Yes. The blunderbuss is good for spread, but not very good for damage or distance. I'll go with the I've pistol. Never used, I've never used the blunderbuss. I've only ever used the pistol. <laughs> Gotcha. Um, but yeah, you've got less of a window of opportunity to land your kind of, yeah, your riposte. Okay. So I will go with the pistol. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever you fancy. I'll go with the pistol. I'll, I'll, I'll give you. So if you go down the stairs a little bit as well, there will be um, your main hand weapon choice. Mm. Oh, I'm just seeing Jarvis. Yeah, let me try real quick. Let me try um, sharing my screen with you. I thought we did that already, but it could have been off. Ah, which is why I need a capture card, folks. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's a saw cleaver, a hunter axe, and a threaded cane. Okay, so your saw cleaver is kind of best of both worlds in terms of a strength and skill build. Okay. Um, pretty universal, not fantastically brilliant at either, kind of being fast or doing a lot of damage. Um, axe is your heavy, big damage weapon. The cane is the fast, quick weapon, mm. low damage. I like having speed up. I think I'm going to go very milk toast, and then in the middle, I like having speed, <laughs> but I also like that um, yeah. massive cool. damage, right? Yeah, saw cleaver is the archetype weapon. You know, it's the poster child weapon for this uh, for this game. So it's a good one to have. <laughs> I just saw the um, Oh Woman But Reeks of Doll. I actually know about that. It's kind of like in Destiny. I was very excited for Destiny to come out and then didn't have a lot of time on my hands to so just watch lore videos here and there. Well, to be honest, Destiny should put that in their own game in the first place. <laughs> right? <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? It <laughs> would. Yeah, exactly. Well, being a huge Halo fan... Um, I was very much excited for Destiny. Okay. So, you need to equip your weapons now. Okay. <laughs> um, you, you oh, that's right. I remember this reading this, that people are constantly forget how to equip their weapons. Okay. So, push, start, or options even. No? Yeah. The, yeah. The oh, start. fancy. You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, I can't play with my and... clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've got any other at the minute. <laughs> Everyone, he's going to get so tired of me within like 30 minutes, he's going to say, I'm never ghosting for her again. She's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> weapons. That's a tire. Yeah, of Arms. So you're, you basically can have two main weapon slots and two gun weapon slots. So, um, yeah, the first two are your weapon, your main weapon. The second two are your gun weapons. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, so I've got those equipped. Quick items, eventually... do they make a difference? Um, you don't really have any at the minute, but essentially um, that's probably that's where you're going to want like your Molotov cocktails and your papers to go, which will make okay. sense. Later. Um, yeah, so when you eventually get like a second weapon and a second gun, you can push left and right on the D-pad to quickly swap between the two. Oh, I hope I don't have ammo, because I'm just shot for kicks. Uh, yes. Dang it! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so up in the top left, you... Oh, I see. My ammo. Yeah, you've got, yeah, you got blood vials, which is your health item, which uh, I think is triangle. Yeah, and square would be to use your item, so when you do get molotovs, you'd push square to use them. Gotcha, okay. The triangle is, that's basically your healing. But yeah, have a bit of fun practicing some combos. Do I just press multiple buttons for combos? So you've got R1, so you can just push R1, 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 R1 over and over again. You can push like R1 and then L1, L1, L1. So it transforms between one and two handed weapon attacks. Um, pushing and holding R2 is a powered attack, which... Oh, uh, gotcha. If you, yeah, if you do that... Um, if you strike an enemy with that from behind, it will put them into you know, a, a repost stamp, so you can then do a critical attack on them. Gotcha. If you have done all, if you have done all this just fine, near automata will be a breeze for you, even on the harder battles. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You can hear Ollie. That's I know, buddy. You, you should. You really should. Um, Ollie's like, I don't understand. You're already stressed out. Okay. We're just okay. in the safe place as well. I know! The safe-ish place? <laughs> yeah. No, it's completely safe. Until mm -hmm. the very end. Uh-huh. This, uh, this is where that big 
What is it, Father Gascoigne thing? No, no, Father Gascoigne's uh, much earlier than the big fight here. Okay. No, Father, Father Gascoigne is arguably can either be your first or second boss fight. What? We'll aim for it. Well, yeah, we'll aim for it to be your second. Okay, please. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll see how quickly right, I learn so, this, how punishing it is. Um, you know where you revived? Yes. In this Hunter stream? If you head back there and then you'll see uh, a huge tall gravestone on the right hand side. That if one? You... I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Oh <laughs> my hit... gosh, I am so <laughs> sorry everybody. If you, hit... yeah, sorry. if you hit X, then it will. It should. it's basically your kind of travelling menu. Oh, for... the Yarnum so headstone. Parts. Yes, that's it. So okay. hit there, and then hit yourself to clinic, and then you get to, you know, rematch the uh, the wolf, the, the wolf, the, the werewolf. Hmm. With my stuffs. Oh gosh. Yeah, you have plenty of. It, it'll go down easy. It'll be the easiest werewolf you take on. You in the say that. Game now. <laughs> you say this. Everyone, let's get a, a bet on the death count for the flamingo on this first go. <laughs> It's a bird versus a werewolf. I don't know how well this is going to go. I'm looking at my dogs. Hey guys, you want to jump in there and help me out? That'd be great. They both yawned, so I don't think that I'm going to get much help from the dogs. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, the first boss that we're going to try and get you to is the Cleric Beast. Cleric Beast? Okay. Yeah. Um... And yeah, we'll uh, we'll avoid Father Gascoigne for <laughs> now. All right. We'll see how this goes. Oh, gotta get that dodge down. Oh, you it. Well. <laughs> That was quick! <laughs> Luckily there's no limitation on my death count, right? Oh, locking on, that's right, thank you! Yeah, we'll get on. it! <laughs> uh, I see Shell just popped in. I'm going to embarrass. Your girl's gonna embarrass you, Shell, with her efforts here. You, you'll be fine. Yeah, it's all about that locking on. There are some boss battles later on which locking on is actually puts you in a worse off place because the camera is trash. But for now, yeah, get practicing the, the locking on. Oh, I'm pressing R3, right? Yes. Right. Oh! Thank heavens. Um, so I didn't do that on purpose for the record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see. Uh, I shot after he was dead, which... Oh, hold one, I'm going to mute myself. Oh, stream, I'm going to send, send the puppers downstairs. Okay, guys. They saw the werewolf and wanted to play with it. Go on. Oh, yeah. Go on. Well, that wasn't smooth. So do I have to press R3, like, kind of consistently throughout the battle to lock on as I move around? No, nope. just the once is fine. Just the once? Okay, cool. Yeah. There, okay. that's just fine. And uh, it will And what you'll need to do is you'll need to flick um, left and right on the thumbstick in order to move between targets when you get uh, multiples. Once you lock. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I killed something, folks. Yay! There I've killed go. something. Okay. I'm still kind of just pushing random buttons and I need to come up with like a strategy, I think. No. You'll find dodging a lot easier when you're locking on as well, because mm. you have a different... You're not rolling, you end up like near automatoning it. Yeah. Like, you love that dodge, zooming. don't you? It is so oh, beautiful. Is beautiful. Yep, it gets Jinx. even better. <laughs> you owe me a Coke. Jinx. <laughs> okay, opening the door. Hello, everyone. Hello, Blue. Hello, Emma. 
Okay. So I'm not doing a very good job of reading your chat, am I? That's that's why I'm here. Oh, that's okay. Well, you're also here to like help me build some basic skill and confidence. Very basic skill, folks. So did you pick up the health files that were in your Zephyrus clinic? Um, I think I did. I just picked up some yeah. bullets. I yep. picked up some vials off of a body. Is there a run feature in this? Because I am getting crazy uh, bored. Push and hold circle. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Thank heavens. I was going to say we're just strolling around for no... Not, not moving with a purpose. Is this a save point? Oh, return to the hunter's dream. If I go up the stairs behind... No, there's nothing. There's nothing there for nothing you Nothing there? Yet. Okay. Okay. Not yet. Oh, boy. I sound, or you sound like me when I'm talking to you about Nier Automata. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. But you'll get Patience. There. Patience, grasshopper. <laughs> don't save? Oh, you insist don't save. Yeah, to be honest, it kind of like auto saves, to be honest. Um... I have that bad habit of saving right before I die, too. Do I want to go le out the left or the right gate when I get out here? Uh, left. Yeah, again, that one opens later on. Yeah, and to be honest, if you hit the lamp, which is basically, it will replenish your health. It will replenish a number of your items as well. But hit the lamp. Effect. But it will also re respawn all the enemies. Oh, so you have it. to think carefully about when you actually want to... Yeah. So you're going to laugh. You said hit the lamp, and you meant save. So I actually walked over to a lamp. Yes, yeah, yeah. And yeah, hit so it. Those are your <laughs> oh, you literally hit it. <laughs> I was like, oh, he said hit the lamp. Okay, I'm going to hit the... Oh, bam! Hit the lamp. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how my brain works. Do I want this top hat? Can I do anything with this top hat? No, there's nothing you can do with that top hat, I'm afraid. But, um... Is this even yeah, a little bit it. comical for you? I really hope it is. <laughs> it is. It's fun. <laughs> Okay, um, so I'm out the out the gate. Down there as well. Mhm. Mm um, I see so a you're dude. You're fighting your first villager, yeah, any second now. Do I have so to? Yeah. I have to kill him. You have to kill everything. Oh, everything dies. Everything. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Till I say so. <laughs> Till you say so. Okay. I'm I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. He's only got a torch that can set you on fire with, and probably a pitchfork. Well, I just died. <laughs> oh, you gotta I watch out for that axe swing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's because I didn't do that thing where you watch. I'm so bad about it. I usually am like, okay, well, I think I've watched enough, and then I just jumped in. It takes a while to get used to it. Mm -hmm. It does. Would you say that this is more measured... Oh crap, did everything just respawn? Yeah, you'll have to fight the werewolf again. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> or not. Where is it? Where'd you go? Hey, Wolfie. Oh no, actually, you might, you might be right. I guess to be honest, it is, yeah, it's a hey, tutorial werewolf, so you're right. So guys, yeah, I died on the tutorial, which you're supposed to do, and then I died again on the tutorial, which is not necessary, so... That's great. Okay. You are a beginner. It's fine. So I guess my question is, I'm used to being very, like, stiff and trying to push buttons very quickly. Is this you're supposed to be more measured and choreographed? With this game? Um... I'd say... I'd say... It'd be better to be a good dancer, because okay. dodging is dodging is where is that with this game, for sure. I'm gonna try um, this guy again just to see if I can get the dodging. So I would stay more to the right. Don't get stuck behind this carriage. So you okay. plan your yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, He's gonna follow me, to right? On. Lock on. He will, and he'll set fire to you. Oh. A little bit Don't stuck. Don't to lock on. Lock on, R3. Okay, so you can He's hit set him fire. as well. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, so. so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what happened there? <laughs> You're gonna laugh at what it's I was okay. doing. I was pushing um, R1 and R2 instead of L1 and R2, I think is what you told me to do. No, R1, R2 is good. Okay. L1 is your transformation, so I'll, I'll stick with... Let me try it one more time. Hamming, hamming the R1 button. That's right, R1 is the quick attacks. The quick, quick attack. Yeah, I definitely like the blade shorter. And then yeah. holding R2 is your super heavy. Okay. Essentially, yeah, yeah. And then it's like I I spend most of my time in just doing R1 in the one-handed. And then it's, I don't bother yeah. with L2 until I've got a critical hit available, right? So well, you so the way that works is um, if you shoot just before they land an attack, then they will basically go into a riposte stance where you can then critical just beat the crap out of them okay yeah All right. essentially it's uh it's more kind of just like ripping the guts out of them um, third time lucky yeah. maybe we'll see i'm gonna yeah, try this guy fun. one more time and then head down the stairs if i die oh there's nothing down the stairs apart from an item so oh okay cool you have to take him no lock on I didn't lock on. Lock on, then attack. Come on, Tiny. Yep. Lock on, then attack. Well, you sometimes... There we go. Lovely jubbly. What you'll find is that sometimes your R1 attacks will stun them as well. So when you land a hit, get a couple extra in. Okay. So I've gone down the stairs, and obviously there's nothing but a... Well, I guess is an item worthwhile. Is this the game with the trunks that will kill you? <laughs> um, there may be some mimics. I can't remember, you know. Mm. You've played all the dark, the dark souls, yeah, soulsborn the dark kind of souls. stuff. The dark souls have got the mimics. A search uh, body. I think there are. New and they have to confirm for me. Okay. Right. So. So. You, okay. Got but, the well, item. Your healing items. Okay. We've got nine of at the minute. Lovely. So yeah, head up that, that way. Should I put them on the quick equip? Is that something that you have to equip, or nah, that's, that's right? You just press triangle, automatic. right? Triangle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So don't press triangle unless I mean it. Yeah, because you'll <laughs> use it even if you're full health. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh dude. Madness. I like this, uh, was it a cutlass, the short, short blade? For the thing you're using. Ugh, oh, I'm so stuck. <laughs> that, so I, get lock on. for the record, I pressed it more than once because I got nervous. <laughs> Oh, so you logged on the logged off again. I did, I do that. Um, that was a problem for me in Nero Automata yeah. too. It's like, oh, I would just press it way too many times. I get nervous. Okay. So, we've got a few items to pick up. Okay, back there. Yep. Yeah. Um, where you killed those two guys. Okay, oh, that's right. I have to search their bodies, don't I? Or not? No, no, so they're the big flashing glowing things. Okay. Back here. Molotov cocktail. Yeah, there we go. And then... I do not walk with any sense of purpose. It is aggravating. I feel like there's something behind this dead body. Nope, there's not. Okay. Blood vial right. and Molotov cocktail. Good, yeah, those are the items. So if you push options... And then you'll go down to the five blank bars at the boxes at the bottom. That's mm -hmm. your quick items. So you can now put your Molotovs onto that. So that when you push square, you can throw a Molotov. Got it. Okay. Really, really useful um, against boss battles. But you have to use them sparingly. Got it. 
I am seeing all of the support in the chat, by the way, guys. I am just trying to focus because it's not entertaining to watch me walk around and flail. <laughs> okay, so I've gotten those items. Where do I go next? The next gate, I guess? No. No, so there's a... Oh, um, there is a lever you need to pull. A lever. Pull the lever! If I can find it. I don't know if anyone else here has seen the Emperor's New Groove. Oh, is this the, le the lever? Get out of the way! <laughs> Get out of the way, dead guy. I love the ragdoll physics on this. So, how do you pull the lever? When you get up close, I imagine it gives you an X button? Mm. Yeah, it does give you a prompt. That's not the lever. Is it up above? <laughs> it's the one up above. No. No? Not above. It's not above. Uh, I thought I saw a okay. lever back here. Right. So, go back to where you were with the... With the Wait, what you thought was the lever. Or is it this one? Mm -mm -mm. Back to what I thought was the lever. Okay, I'm there. Oh, there it is. I see it. <laughs> hey! Alright, I've pulled something. Which is probably never good. Yeah. Well, it's a Friday night. <laughs> Oh, hey, it begins. Oh, by the way, the 69th comment, the oh, 311th comment, and the 420th comment should all get some kind of prize. Oh, well, what's 311? So, oh, other than... Oh, that sounds terrible. I'm going to stop here because that sounds terrible. Other than a band, it's the... Uh, or it used to be in the California Code. I think it was the... Um, citation for indecent exposure. I am not licensed in California, oh, but wow. that's how the band got their name. So, fair enough. Yeah. I don't know who got. I don't know who got 69. We're on 220. Oh my okay. gosh! Already, guys. I am so sorry. Yeah. I I've been. I know you can all entertain yourselves. I've been very much trying to be a good pupil here. Did you Did you stop because of the screen? Did you hear a screen? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Because it makes you That's do things? Is that what the... It makes you do what it wants you to do? No, no. It's just scenes. It's scene setting, isn't it? You know, you've got all this gothic horror going on around you, then it's crazy scream out in the distance. That is essentially... That's your first boss that you have to fight. Is the screaming thing? Yes, yeah, the screaming thing. Can I just call it the screaming thing? Okay, so... Survey says, yeah, do I light the lamp or not here? Yeah. Okay, and everything below me respawns, right? Yeah, but you're not going down there again. Okay. Use the lamp. Anytime I see Nguyen say something, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Oh, no, no, no. Well, you guys have always agreed <laughs> thus far, so it's one of those... Yeah. You guys have agreed thus far. Okay. Right or left? Is there any one way at the minute? These gates do all open on in the future. They do. Okay, um, so there's only going to be one. Uh, from soft way of looping you back round and integrating everything. Mm. I love mechanics like that, where it's like kind of subtle and it makes sense in world, but it yeah, kind no, of it's, keeps it's really you. clever level design the way they link everything back. All right, I've gone to the right. Mm -hmm. Search this body. A pebble. You get Got some eight pebbles. pebbles. Should you I equip can those two? To like they do no damage, but they're kind of to like pull individuals out from the crowd. Oh, so this does have kind of a like they hear you type deal. Yeah. Okay. In a, yeah, in a sense, like there's definitely some mob mentalities. There are definitely some mobs you're going to have to fight your way through. Sneak attack waits ahead. This is a fine note. Thank you. <laughs> Thank y'all. Beware of ambush, okay. See, it's telling me all the things you've not told me. Wow, well, I'm letting you experience some of the games. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for it. This is like, ah, shoot! No! <laughs> no, no, no! No, no, no! 
<laughs> you got the lock on down though. On that one, I only pressed it once. There you go. Yeah, everybody so, have a laugh about that. Yeah, it's a good ambush. <laughs> got ya. Where'd you come from? You punk. Behind some boxes, so you can like destroy some of the scenery and um, some like the boxes and stuff. I learned that knocking over all the apothecary equipment in the. Yeah. Oh, so I imagine I can jump off that ledge to the left, but oh, is that um, is that Father Gascoigne down there? Nah, he's he's nowhere near you yet. It's some but, big tall uh, dudes. See, yeah, if I were playing uh, a regular game, you know what I would do right now. Three guesses what I would do right now. I'm just gonna leave it here so you can see this situation. Um, okay, three guesses as to what you would do in a normal game. What kind, what's a normal game? Okay, so if this were like Borderlands or Modern Warfare, what would I do in this situation? <laughs> Um, snipe them. I would snipe all of them. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm not dealing with you in person. Right. I'm just gonna so the guy that's right sniping. in front of you, uh -huh. I would just rush him. Because take him out pretty quick, no problems. And though that item in front of him, that uh, is another lovely bunch of Molotov cocktails. Cool. Lovely. Um, they really are worth getting. Are those and other then, two guys going to hear and come and join in on the fun if I no, rush yeah, him? Not until you get, I'd say not until you get back, back down the stairs. So if you get in a fight with him, stay up, stay up on that level. Don't go down the stairs, otherwise you will probably trigger them to come and get you. Okay, so there's some stairs right back to my, um, my right after the ambush. Do I go down these? Oh, there's another dude. Can do. Yeah, there'll be another guy there. I think there may be another item. It I know there's fall damage. Time. Is that height down to this guy on that that level we were just talking about? Is that height too tall for me to... No, you should be right. And if you do get any damage, it would be negligible. It wouldn't be much. Mm. Hmm. Alright, guys. We're going for it. Oh, I'm on fire. I just lit myself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that Bruce Springsteen yeah. song, right? <laughs> I'm on fire. Okay. So I didn't go down the stairs yet. Good. Yeah. Yeah, so no. let's see. Oh, there's a bunch of people. Yeah. I don't want to deal with any of them. I'm not. De Can I just not deal? Can I not even? Can I not deal? I'm going to have to deal with them. Have to deal with them. Yeah. There's no, um... like, jump. It's it's inferior. How do I jump? So the jump is pushing and hold circle and then tapping circle after that. Pushing and hold circle, tap, 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 tap. You got yeah. So you got to while he's sprinting, hit circle. Oh, oh gotcha. Um, there we go. I got it. Okay. So can I jump and go behind them and just avoid them all together? Nah, you're not going to be able to jump that fence. <clears throat> yeah, you're going to have okay. to face them. <laughs> Guys, I'm a big fat coward. I'm lazy and a coward. Just know that right off no. the bat. If I can stealth around something, I will do it in a heartbeat. If you like, there's nothing stopping you running past absolutely everything. You don't have to fight anything. There are ways you can just run past it all. Well, but that's not the point. We're facing fears here. We're facing fears and oh, doing something I'm challenging. Your attitude. <laughs> this so, is a bloodborne way. Yes, so I definitely, um, for a long time, just thought I won't play video games because I'm bad at them. Because, uh, <laughs> yep, we're definitely learning. I'd grown up playing on a computer. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't console game. And then finally I ended up buying um, my one of my one of my exes a Metal Gear Solid 4 PlayStation 3 because he really wanted it and I played Modern Warfare 3 which made me feel like I could actually be okay at games so I do R3 and then nice. flip left and right with the left and right with the left stick essentially yeah your your best friend is going to be just you keeping your distance um, not like I just did <laughs> But if you keep your distance, and then you'll they'll attack. 
Well, relatively one at a time. <laughs> well, that's not what you I did. Lit. You got lit up. <laughs> I did. Well, and you know the other idiot thing I did? I went into a narrow space with a bunch of people. It's like yeah, on and a. Then you get, yeah. Get hemmed in. Then you're fighting in a basement. <laughs> oh so. no. That's right, I saved all the way. But gosh dang it. Where am I? Where the hell am I? Oh, I know where I am. Okay. Yeah. So you just got to deal with that ambush again. <clears throat> My idiot self. And then okay. Drop down and take out that dude. Guy guarding the Molotovs. Now, yeah. Um, items that you just find in the environment don't ever respawn. So you can't keep farming Molotovs that way. Okay, got can. it. But items oh, are in I the hate shop. this so much. <laughs> 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 But you know he's there! I know, oh, but I hate, I hate jump it. scares so much. <laughs> okay, do I light the lamp again? No. Neewin's like lit the lamp. Did it get lit? Is that what he's trying to say? Okay. Alright. See, see, these are two hits now, these guys. These little mini villagers. Did he just say something? Did you just talk to me, bro? Not you. This guy. Did you say something? <laughs> We're on fire now. Okay. Maybe I'll just yeah, run past yeah. these dudes. No. We're learning. We're learning. No, right. You can. I mean, you can if you just run the other way. You with your big, big bad axe. I said axe for those who were. Oh! Yikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to get misheard, do you? Okay, I'm gonna lock onto you, buddy. I better not get too big for my britches here. I do like that the mint. Oh, jeez! I do like that the mentality is just kill everything. Yeah. It makes my moral decision making a lot easier. Oh, there's, there's someone who just got jumped from behind. He's, he's very calm. <laughs> very calm. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. There you go. Remember, when you get hit, that's that's really a cue to get more aggressive to regain that health. So I'm at like maybe. I don't know how much you can see how much health I have left. Is it best to just keep topping up your health, or do you really want to wait until it's depleted? I would use one. I'd use a bud bar now. That stabbing in the leg thing just freaks me out. Oh, I tried to get behind him. I don't think of it as stabbing in the leg. It's more breaking you know, the vial on your leg. Yeah, just oh, really crushing that vial. Just I don't know, it's interesting. Absorbing that broken glass into your hand. For some odd reason, it's like, always has looked to me when I've watched things like you're injecting yourself in the leg with a, one of those, like, almost an EpiPen. Okay, quick civil yeah. bullets. Those automatically go straight to my pistol, yep. right? Okay. And what's um, good is that uh, you excess bullets and excess blood vials they go straight to your storage in Hunter's Dream. Oh, well, that's so you don't kind have to of worry fun. about. Yeah, you don't have to worry about coming back for them. You can stockpile and stockpile and stockpile. So there's a bonfire with a bunch of villagers around it. Do I go to that or avoid it? Yep. It's the only way. It's the I way have forward. to fight all of those people. Is that like my boss yeah. fight that you were talking about? Nope. No! <laughs> that's just standard. That's just standard <laughs> for you. <laughs> Just you wait till you get to your Oh my first god, boss. everybody, what is happening? Oh, look at all those people! <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna casually stroll up here and try not to die. Alright. You could go into your transformed version so you get bigger reach and you can hit more of them and then before you stun them. But I would not stand still here. Keep moving, because there are shooters here as well. So if you stand still, ah. shot. There you go. Good dodge. 
Dodge. Dodge. <laughs> oh. See. Ah, oh, so close. I pushed. I was pushing. Um. I really wanted to push triangle there, and I didn't. So I'm gonna have to do all that whole section oh. again, aren't I? Yeah, you are. But you did that really well for your first attempt. Oh well, thank Not you. Bad at all. <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, and you. To be honest, you're right not to necessarily lock on there because you you'll get lost and you won't see who's around you. So ah, gotcha. No. All yeah, right. That was a fair, fair, fair attempt. Respectable. Practice makes perfect. Practice exactly. makes perfect. I don't you like. Know, uh, I am so used to pressing L3 to run. I really do not like. Ah, dude! I forgot about you! <laughs> Did the ambush guy get you? I, I forgot about him. <laughs> like a moron. Okay, we're gonna go brash this round. Oh, and I'm on fire again. Okay. So is it right for me to try to clear the alley? Probably. I'd rather clear the alley um, than... Yeah, you can do. It stops you from getting ganked from behind. Um, but you know where the guy who was asleep on the floor that then got up and then tried to shoot you? Uh-huh. If you head up those stairs there, there are a couple of items and you can pick off a few of the peripheral bad guys and get to the bonfire so it might, it'll make that group fight a bit easier on you. Okay, so the stairs back down the alley? Yeah, so you have the shooter guy who's kind of stopped over. You can hit him when he's down as well, you know, you don't have to wait for him to stand up to get you. I'm just kind of luring people up the stairs right now and seeing if that yeah, helps me out. Good strategy. Ah -ha! Hello? 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 Not you. Sorry, I'm talking to the dudes. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking yeah. to these guys. <laughs> Shots. You could try and pebble them to get their attention. Yeah. But, um, so I made short work of them anyway. These stairs back here is what you're talking about, right? I I do know that you can't no, see. No, 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 either. no. The um. Back. Okay. I'm going for the kill everyone bit. Uh, yeah, why not? I'm just going up some stairs and I don't know if they're even if this is a good idea. If I'm going against no, the goal to going not back in the loop now. Okay, so. cool. Back up. I don't know where I'm going. Hopefully they don't respawn because no. I've gone all the way up here again. Now nah, they only respawn when you touch the lamp. I imagine if I jumped off this, I would suffer some fall damage. Well, yeah. The yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad yeah. idea. Oh, so you're going to go head back and kill those three down there? Yeah, again. You don't Ugh. have to. Nah. You can. Yeah, you're good. I mean, is it necessary? That's going to be my no. question the whole time. No. Do I really have to do X, Y, or Z item? Nope. I did None like that, that jump down. I'm always a big fan of when your character just kind of casually steps off a ledge to jump off of things. Very nonchalantly like, okay, I'm and just going to jump off a there. superhero landing. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes, um, kids. Yeah, just behind that carriage should be a slumped over guy with a gun. A slumped over guy with a gun? To your right, to your right. <gasps> so kill him now, is what you're saying. Yeah. I can't, oh, I was gonna say, yeah. I don't think I can kill him. You can't right, lock, you can, dead. but you can't lock onto him. Because he's not active? Yeah, essentially, yeah. Um, but if you head up those stairs, it takes you along the side and you can kill a few of them there and get a few items as well. Yeah. Okay. Up the I'm cursed! Well, you're dead. Okay. Up the stairs. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> I've got to take what I can get. You, you murdered up him the and stairs. then you tell him. Up the stairs. Ah! 
You got the jump on me, you jerk. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hope the squawking's entertaining for everyone. <laughs> oh, there's another one. You nasty, nasty thing. Oh, everybody sees me now. Well, great. Okay. That's what, because I mean, like, you can just sprint and run around, you know, just keep moving until it's in your favor. You don't have to stand Ooh. the ground and fight the entire, the entire time. Obviously, I'm not wanted here. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of pushing circle to run. It just does not suit yeah, me very well. Things you get used to. It's just so obnoxious. Yeah. It's obnoxious. <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, I just pressed triangle! <laughs> I just pressed it! Okay. <laughs> that is so... Heartbreaking. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies in here, and there are a couple of dogs as well, if I remember right. Dogs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are ruthless. For everyone, they my partner's ruthless. probably downstairs going, oh boy, she's already yelling. What is happening? Oh, thanks, I just saw you did a lot better. I don't know, what are you thinking? Yeah. Is there any progress here? You are, you are, you're doing well. You are doing well. Don't you worry. I mean, I'm not pro yet. <laughs> Every time. Did you get... did you... No way. <laughs> I did. I didn't forget him, but the timing. It's the timing that throws me off. So I know there's like you know the point at which he jumps out. Uh. Um. I don't know where they came from, these guys I just killed, because I don't remember them from earlier. Oh, because I went down the back stairs, that's why. Yeah, you took the leap of faith and... <laughs> well, now down. I'm going to jump. Hmm. Uh, you and I have, uh, of, uh, yeah, I've explained the health regen mechanic. Uh-huh. Um, I just play more aggressively. Yeah, essentially, that's what it is. It's I'm gonna go get these guys. I mean, some, some, I mean, don't, don't get wrong. Sometimes you gotta think. I'm surrounded by enemies. Maybe now I need to preserve my stamina and dodge my way out and heal, rather than keep fighting. But uh, you know, yeah. if you're one on one, one on two, just just go. Oh, one <laughs> spam. Bless you, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really want. To take these guys from behind. Hey yo! Hey. If I can. Hey yo! Where's the dude with the gun? Raising. Oh, he's over here, isn't he? Behind that carriage. <laughs> Everyone's just got onto the phrasing. <laughs> Good, perfect. I'm taking him from behind. <laughs> <laughs> die! Die, dude, die. I really like luring everyone up this direction, actually. Ah! You jerk! <laughs> so I got health back by getting jumped. Again, phrasing. We could do this all night, folks. Yeah. I've got to put a stop to it at some point. I don't like this hitchy walk thing. It disgusts walk, me. Eh? Where I like half jog, half walk, and it's like not very uh... smooth. It might be, is it my controller or is it, do it's I blame the equipment or is it the... No, it's, I don't know, I think... Nah, it's not the equipment. And now I'm on fire. Gotta dodge, gotta dodge, 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 dodge. Why am I pressing circle and nothing's happening? <laughs> oh, you're getting stun locked. That's what happens with the torches. Hmm. Oh, stun locked. Does that mean I can't dodge? D does that basically? Yeah. So uh... you can get. It's, you can do it to them as well. Um, but if you get stun locked, it basically means that you'll get hit and you get stunned for a little bit of time, and they, you know, you're open to other, to other hits. Guys, I'm blaming the equipment real quick. I'm going to switch controllers and see. 
<laughs> I, d I don't. Please. Um, so this is not a second hand controller that I'm using. The second hand controller that I'm using. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully, you're still on my headset. Do I sound close? Mm -hmm. So, Good, perfect. I don't know what does close sound like. <laughs> do, do I sound? Do I sound the same? Um, you sound the same. Yeah, you sound. Oh, I'm seeing that Steven's back. leaving. It was good to see you, buddy. Um, yeah, Steve. So yes, go ahead and judge me, folks. Uh, the control that I have in my hand now is not secondhand. The other one is, and I think someone was drinking a lot of Mountain Dew, even though it's red. It's not very sensitive. Oh, I see. <laughs> see it's the. <laughs> no, 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 it's just, it's just the, like, I'm not ready for the noise kind of thing. Really, we should put a heart rate monitor on me right now. If you could see me, I'm all huddled up. You uh, are very lucky I'm not doing the, like, scream and throw the controller deal. <laughs> oh, why not? You should. Well, I'm not really a controller thrower. When I get frustrated, I kind of do that, like, clenched jaw, just stare at the screen thing. I mean... Uh, I do that. I do that a lot more now. I used to get very, very aggressive in, this, in the <laughs> FIFA days. In the FIFA days. Get a good old FIFA rage. <laughs> yeah, it's mm -hmm. a thing. FIFA rage. Yeah. Okay, do I go on bolt this time? I don't know, folks. You've been watching me. Oh, locking on, yeah. Um, well, I thought I wasn't supposed to lock on with big groups. We're just gonna go in. Fortune favors the bull. Back up, back up, back up! Mm. Well. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How many are we up to? How many deaths is that? Oh, God, I don't know, actually. I know I know Eight. someone's been keeping track. Eight. Somebody's been keeping Eight. track. Twelve? Is it really Eight. twelve? Five. It's not five. <laughs> Definitely not five. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Should I be having this much trouble with this area? I mean, honestly. My uh, ego is uh, not going yeah, to hurt. To be honest. Yeah, no, don't worry. Um, okay. I don't want is... to be um, causing anyone in the chat there's nothing worse than it's like you just want someone to do well and they are disappointing you. No, don't <laughs> worry. It's um, it's because yeah, it's just it's like it's this game's way of just trying to introduce you and how to do larger groups. And to be honest, you don't get that. You don't get these larger groups much in the future. It's only in kind of like this kind of area you see groups this, this kind of size. I'm going to go back the other way. I wonder what they're trying to teach you here with just so many people in one spot. I imagine that there are people who quit. Just like right now, they said, nope, not doing it. Very Paid 60 possibly. bucks, not doing it. That's right, he's a two-hit guy. I just yeah. want to lure people back up this way. Hey, dudes. Hey, dudes. Let me show them a little leg. Maybe they'll come up here. Hey! Check out my legs! <laughs> check out my legs! Catch yeah, that's right! <laughs> show them some ankle. Lock on! Oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Dodge! <laughs> <laughs> All that, and one hit. Okay. Oh, it is like breaking the vial, I guess. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's just, if it was like, uh, you know, like, in like 80s shows when they go like, yes! You know, to that, I want to say power fist. Power like fist. Phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We could do this all day, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pebble mechanics. So how do I equip the pebble? Because I just have, maybe the Molotov? Do I use a Molotov? Uh, I would, I would, I would save your Molotov, so I really would. Mostly for 
your boss fights, particularly the you know, cleric beast and the second phase of Father Gascoigne. So how do I equip? Um, do I just select it? So if you go onto the options, and you know you've got that quick bar menu. Uh huh. You can put pebbles into one of them. And then if I hold square, though. No. Um, so if you you want to push down on the d-pad and that will rotate amongst the items within those five slots six slots oh got it okay i see it and then cool. you push square to use the item that you've selected got it so if i throw a little pebble well i don't want them all rushing me up here because there's fire right there and apparently i'm really good at catching on fire so i mean i won't lie i've never used pebbles in this game at all so oh. you don't have to use them um well yeah. I found something upon which you and Nguyen disagree. Well, there we go, yes. Pebble, pebble or no pebble? It had, to, it had to happen at some point. <laughs> pebble or no pebble? Okay, well, I'm going to get boffed from behind, probably. Now I'll go follow you guys. I don't like it. We'll try a little. Okay, so blue saying you've got to the bridge with two to three werewolves, which, like, that is a rage inducing point because they are stupid hard at any point in the game, werewolves. Particularly when you're getting done by two of them at once. <laughs> I can't um, help it. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. Second. Yeah, um. That is. Not too far. Once you get past this bonfire, you have to deal with some crows. You have to deal with a great big troll thing, and then you have to deal with another mini gang squad. And then it's two werewolves. After that, you can either then go for the shortcut through the house, or you can go through the first box. So we're still we're still quite away though, to be honest. I mean, <gasps> you know what I heard? What 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 what? Dodge. <laughs> And the dodge was coming from my own brain. Okay, say again, say again over. Oh, you can go for a cheeky, um, if you fancy a challenge. No. If you just head down that alleyway, it's a pointless challenge. Don't get me wrong. You know, there's nothing really that brilliant to venture from it. But if you head down that alleyway just behind you, then basically opposite that gate, no, to the left where you are now because I'm obviously watching you five seconds <laughs> <laughs> so there's a gate with a gargoyle in front of it I know there's probably a million gates with a gargoyle in front of it I killed all these people and yeah, then right past the them so you've got a gate in front of you what's the point of that gate? Big, basically if you open that that takes you back to Yosefka's clinic so it's, just, it's a shortcut well but I have um, in order to progress I have to kill that massive mob of people Essentially, yeah, that is the way to go. But if you, to the left of you now, there's an alleyway, and there is a very tough enemy. Oh, I see. Past you, that. But Past the really fire. From it. Okay, no, well, no, if no, it's... No, back there, back there by the gate. Oh. Yeah, it's a very small alleyway that's covered by boxes. That you can oh, I see it. Through. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see that on your screen in just a second. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, I don't know, to be honest, I don't know why he's down there because he doesn't really give you any good items. There's no good items down there anyway, and it's a dead end. Like, that's it. The, what? That's is it. it just an ego boss? It's an ego boss. That's what we're calling that one. It's not even a boss, it's just a guy. It's just an a ego big dude. With a big guy. What yeah, is, an ego so dude. he's just, as you, as you all would say, he's just hench. And they're for no reason. Yeah. Hedge. Yeah, he's hedge. <laughs> Die, please, with your gun. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's right, he's got bullets for me. I think I told you all about the, um, one of my pals knew another, um, soldier from, who was from Jamaica. And whenever we would, they would do exercises, he would yell, bullet, bullet, bullet! I'm not doing the uh, accent very well, but when he would shoot at stuff, you know, quote unquote, shoot at stuff, he'd go bullet, bullet, bullet. Yeah. So, <laughs> 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 I'm scared again. 
<laughs> okay, I probably want full health before I go in there with the rest of these folks, right? I'd say so. Yeah, given how I'm doing. <laughs> you all mock my- you mock my pain! This Life is, is pain. We all play Bloodborne for the first time. It's to, to relive it all again. Because we all did it. We all did it. I know there's a dude behind me. I can I can tell. Where is he? There he is. Oh, honey. Thank you. My partner's up here letting me know what my time hack is. Oh. Oh. Run, chick, run! <laughs> Okay, how are we doing? Somebody else with the gun. Person. Somebody else with the gun. Run, run away, oh my days. Sorry, I'm just gonna sound really odd for the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't wanna go down, I don't wanna get stuck there. Okay, another vial. Much better. <laughs> I feel like that was better. I really do. Although I'll be honest, I don't think I do as well when my um, cutlass is long. I think I do better with a yeah. short cutlass. It's it's doing a lot of high vertical attacks rather than getting horizontal. Mm -hmm. Any better, anybody? What do you think? Getting oh, there. I'm nice. so it's sorry it goes job. back this far this far in the map. Yeah. Oh, down the first bit. dog. Like the dogs. I hate the dogs in this game. Everyone oh, knows how I, I feel about dog. killing dogs. dogs. Yeah, I hate the dogs in any of the dogs born souls games. They are just awful to deal with. I, hate them. I do know some of the reportedly some of the um, lore behind Sif and it just breaks my heart. I oh, hate oh, killing yeah, Sif. animals Sif in the games. White wolf. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, see, I think I do much better because I'm a run in and bash everything kind of gal. I think that the short version is actually better for me. I want to go back and get that other guy because he's huge. What's the chat saying? How do they. Are they. <laughs> are you not entertained? I think they're very entertaining. Oh, They've good. been talking about the uh, Final Fantasy VII demo. Oh, the remake. You know, I've never played it, and I actually have it on my Vita to play um, the original. Yeah, I've never played seven because I played eight, and that's the best and only one. Oh so, no! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jarvis is just saying this is why she's scared of dogs because you don't see cats attacking you in games. <laughs> and yes, you do. You kidding? I was gonna say, if you've played Far Cry at all, because you've got some big cats in there that'll take you out. I think last time I went down this way and it served me pretty well. I was able to kind of get a c couple of the folks early. This way. My partner's lovely, by the way. He uh, just came in to let me know that we're at an hour and 20 minutes, so that you might be able to get some sleep. Yeah, I'm doing alright. <laughs> I'm doing all right. We have a strict two-hour limit tonight, folks, um, because I refuse to be the reason anyone's exhausted. <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, two hours. I don't know that I'm going to get past this in two hours. I'm not impressing well, can... myself right now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Really don't, because this, this area gets a lot of people. And to be honest, I think if I was to just jump on now with like a new character, I would expect to die a few times myself. Well, I don't know the. Ah, damn it! <laughs> well, I recovered some health, so that's a plus. Get <laughs> jump scared again. That one guy every time. Ah, <laughs> oh, I oh. wish that the gun actually frickin' did something like in. 
normal games that don't want to well, cause right. you existential damage. <laughs> it, it does. It does. It is a useful tool, but I think I think still it's not going to be useful in combat in large groups. It's, it's just not. There is like this odd controller delay too, where it's like, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, and I think that that's actually... It seems like it's doing it on purpose, so that I don't just mash buttons. Is that... Do I sound I crazy when I'm saying this? No, no, you don't sound crazy. It sounds about right, because, um... It's like the more I push get, it, the less it wants to... You get what the community would call R1 spammers, which are basically people who just run in, spam R1 over and over again. Well, that's me. Their <laughs> they deplete their stamina, which then means they can't dodge or get out of any dangerous situations, and they die very quickly. Um, so it's all about stamina, kind of stamina management. Got it. A lot of things. So go in, do a bunch of hits, but you've got to make sure you've got enough stamina left to actually to dodge complete out and get out of there. So is there a way for me to get over to that other ledge opposite to the left of where? Not without going through the middle. Oh, come on! And what I would suggest, I would suggest, is staying up on that plat on that level as such. Head right to the back, and then kind of like go behind, because you've got like a shooter down there, so you can take the shooter out, and then you can worry about the dogs and the other. Oh, we got a shooter. The back meaning. Okay, I'm gonna just pause where I am. I do hate also that. Um, it doesn't actually pause the game, you know what I mean? Like, there's still stuff happening if you're yeah, in a menu. Still live. Yeah. That's so cruel. This whole thing is so cruel. Okay, I'm back behind the fire. So, go right, so, turn right, down there. Okay. I was nervous about this, though, because of that carriage. Can you get past that carriage? Which carriage? Where I'm facing right now. like a carriage blocking um, the... Right, okay, yeah, so if you carry on towards... Face. Not that way. <laughs> okay, I'm oh! Someone's coming. Pointing? Someone's coming. Are you pointing in real life? You're pointing at the <laughs> screen, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, pointing, I'm, point, I'm pointing at me because I want you to turn around. But for some reason, my words are fair. Ah! Let me come up, though. Let me come I'm up. on fire! I'm on fire! <laughs> Okay. I only have four, three blood vials left, but I want to stay topped up. Well, I just lured another couple gentlemen up by standing here, because That's apparently it. they can't get past this. How many left? So you should have a couple of dogs, a couple of shooters. Uh, I have a guy with a torch. I have what looks like a shooter. And then, where the hell did the dogs come from? So the dogs are kind of like behind the carriages on the other side of Here, puppy. the street. And then I've got those guys up there who I imagine jump down when I get started, right? Yeah, they will. So, what you can do is, once you jump down, because there's a gap in the fencing to your right, once you get down there, if you run diagonally left, there's um, a set of stairs that you have to climb up, so you can just sprint down there, head up those stairs, and then basically get up onto the other side. Cool, cool. Alright, we'll see how this goes, guys. Good night, show. Puppy's dead! Get out of there, Aaron, get out of there! <laughs> Okay, I know there's got to be more. There's a shooter. There's a shooter. We got a shooter. Get out there. Another blood vial. 
No, yeah, focus on the shooters. Good, good, good. You can keep um, hitting recently killed. Oh, monsters. shoot! This would be my luck is to die right after shooting everybody else. Or shooting, getting everybody else. I think their blood fire was down in um, by those huge big copper doors. So. Ha! <gasps> Okay, is there somebody else? Why do no, I feel like this should be? This is it. This is that's it. You cleared the area. Oh! Can I get a round of applause, please, in the chat? Just watch this. Someone's gonna come out and kill me right at the end. Okay, so I just run around cool. and pick stuff up now, right? Yep. Yep. Um, you're pretty safe for the time being. Um, for the time being. Pick up, pick up items. I need blood vials. So yeah, so badly. I think there should be some in that um in that archway with the double doors. Mm, cool. Yeah, there's nothing for you going that way, don't it? Yeah. Thank you for the applause, everyone. Oh, that door seems like it's gonna burst open with something awful. No. Uh, no, it doesn't burst open. Thank you, honey. I just got the hour and a half. Are you okay to go to two quick? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. Honey, we're gonna go to two. Oh, there's something there. I know there's something there. There is. The, oh. these, the thing that's behind that door is the perfect enemy for you to practice your gun with. So, quick question. Now that I've yeah. cleared this area, I will go all the way back to that lamppost if I oh die. Oh god, no. Yes, you will. Yeah, you will. Sorry, I thought you'd say, I'm going to go back to the lamppost. <laughs> no, don't no. do that. <laughs> no. uh, okay. Unfortunately, you... It's going to get tough. Real tough. Um, still, you're about halfway to the next boss fight, or to the first boss fight. If you and want, there's you no real run. saving in between now and nope. then? Oh, nope. this goes against everything I do in games. Okay! Yeah. <laughs> so, you can sprint all the way to the boss fight, and then once you've done so, the reason why I'm saying that is because once you get there, you get something called an in you get some insights. When you get back to the Hunter's Dream, you can buy use your insights to buy something called the Beckoning Bell, Mm -hmm. Which is then what you could then use to call for assistance. Well, let's do that so I don't have to do this alone anymore. Well, How's the thing that? is, it's, oh, crap. it's a hell of a sprint, and you kind of need to know your way. Um, and you're a little bit behind. I'm a little bit behind, so I can't give you on the spot directions. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, the next step at this point is to go back up onto the other side of the road. Um, Kay. Where you killed that last shooter, yep. um, and then basically go through there. Um, there are some crows, and then there's a big lump of a guy. Um, but you want to target the big lump of a guy first. The crows are bad. Is everything evil here? Time for giant beasts is the note. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's there... time for giant beasts. But like I said, he's he telegraphs his attacks somewhat rotten. They're so easy to predict. And is it like the, a big, big swing? Yeah, yeah, and a window of opportunity to land your shot to get him into like a riposte stance is huge as well. Mm -hmm. There's one attack that he does that's really quick, but uh, it's, it's, it doesn't do too much damage. Well, I'm nicely covered in blood, so there's that. Okay, so crows. Is it like an aerial enemy? They are, they are like crippled crows. They don't fly. They kind of, they're stuck on the ground and they will leap up into the air. But again, they don't do very much damage. And they're really easy to run away from. Okay. No, I, I don't think anyone's died to crows. Four blood vials. Well, we'll see. There may be a first with me. Okay. You never know. Can I get the <laughs> jump on this guy if I sneak around him? Um, I think he, I think no matter how 
long you take your time to get to him and walk very slowly, I think he always turns around. Okay. Alrighty. If you go too far without trying to fight him now, he basically sandwiches you. He comes and attacks you anyway, so it's not like you can ignore him. He will come and fight you. He will come and get you, but he will get you at a point where you're about to move. You're in the middle of another Dodge, 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 dodge! <laughs> Okay, where is this dude? Where are you, dude? He's the other side of the fountain to the crows. Hey, so everyone who's um, been here and is heading off to bed, uh, I do see you as you leave, so my not saying anything, I mean, hashtag Bloodborne. <laughs> Beginner, you get it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is he up? He's up above this area, huh? No, 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 he's, um, so... You're basically the other side of those doors that you thought something was going to burst through. He's the thing knocking on the other side. But, well, uh, I'm just running around so, so There he is. You, yeah, you see him there? Lock on. And then I don't shoot until... So he'll probably, depending on his attack, he'll probably do a great big wind up. So the idea of the gun mechanic is that you hit him, you, or you fire the bullet, um, and there is some some travel time to the bullet, um, but yeah, you should be able to just. Uh, no, no, no! Blood file. Dodge! Don't get cornered. Just keep dodging. <laughs> Why is it not locked onto him? Dodge! 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 Blood vial. I'm just gonna use all my blood vials. So what? When do I shoot? So it's best to lock on. Lock on. Shoot. Yeah. And so yeah, <gasps> you to land the hit. That's when you shoot. Well, I don't think I shot anything in a productive fashion, but I just uh, oh, wrong button. Dang it. <laughs> I have coins and I have zero blood files, so. There should be some blood vials for you to pick up in where he was banging about. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, guys, that was ugly. But it happened. We just won't talk about it. Molotov cocktail. <laughs> Torch. I could really use a blood vial or five. Yeah. Blood vials, you, sometimes you have to end up doing a lot of farming, where you just go around and you kill certain enemies, make them respawn, then go back and kill them again because they're known for dropping lots of blood vials or bullets. The crows don't drop so, anything, yeah. do they? Nothing. Oh no, they did. Yeah, but it's usually trash. Well, there's this dude, maybe he'll have a vial or two. No, an oil urn! Absolutely useless to me right now. Hmm. You're all useless dead things. Useless. So, oil urn, the, it does have its benefits. Basically, if you throw an oil urn at something, it covers them in oil, so then they're even more prone to fire. So uh... It's a good combo thing you can do. Um, but yeah, it's sometimes quite tricky to pull off. So, um, from here, I mm -hmm. go up, up, up. Up the stairs, yes, the other side from the way you came down. Now, I will give you big heads up here. You'll come across a shooter, a dog, and two normal villagers. I think one of them may have a shield, I'm not sure. A shooter, a dog, and two normal villagers. So okay. what I would do is I would creep up the stairs, try and lock onto one of them, and then fire your gun off. You want to try and pull them away individually. But these, it's a horrible gank. Mm. Okay, these stairs. If I die now, I swear to cow. Yes, it's never fun. And at the top of these stairs, once you pick this group of enemies, are the two werewolves I was talking about earlier. This guy does nothing. No, 
there, it does no damage, but it's all about getting them towards you. Bit by bit. That is so interesting. There'll be at least a shooter in another one. Oh no, oh my god. <laughs> Don't go up the stairs. Don't go up the stairs. Uh, blood vial. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't breathe that whole time, just so, you know, in my case anyone face. is. <laughs> So but, um yeah you um, you yeah so the the health regen mechanic definitely saves you there a few times. So I did see that, that. the aggression up. Yeah. Because that I wasn't was doing anything intense. skilled, I was just being aggressive. <laughs> so okay. This, like I said, up the top of these stairs are two werewolves, and they are ridiculously hard. Is that the boss? No. <laughs> oh my what god, people. Do, so once you get up to the top of the stairs, what you can do is you can just, if you just keep sprinting down that walkway and just keep going and going and going, you'll go past another big troll, you'll go past three more crows, and then you'll get to your first boss arena. Well, will they you follow me down there? Like, will they? They will. They will, but. But it might just be easier for you to get to the first boss. Will certainly be more entertaining. Okay. All right. So just run straight ish. Once you get to the top, you're going to turn top of the stairs, you're going to turn right and I would just sprint. I'd walk up to see if you can get an idea of where the two werewolves are. Well, I think they saw them, me because you might get if they see you just run but you just don't want to get pinched between them and the carriage is that the quote of the evening everyone is that the boss <laughs> that the boss but is no that the boss? that's not the boss keep running keep running keep running keep running past the ogre thing i'm still running why is it not letting me sprint you run out of stamina, <laughs> stamina, that's why. But you keep going. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you? What are you? <laughs> ah, 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 dodge! <laughs> oh, dodge! Oh, dodge! Oh, dodge! Oh, dodge! I think I was! <laughs> Did I die? No, I didn't die. Blood file, lock on. What is happening? <laughs> oh, this is the well. cleric you, beast you, you, thing I keep hearing about. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing good <laughs> for your first fight. I can't believe you threw two pebbles at it, but yeah. I know. You do you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I see what's going on here. Oh, come on! No! You can shoot him in the face. Well... And that will, uh... Do I have to oh, go all the way back? You got stunlocked. You got stunlocked. Right. So, you should wake up in... You might wake up in Hunter's Dream. You should do... Well, this. crap! That was, a good, that was a good first attempt. Oh! Oh, good! Oh, good. Okay. So I was worried we were going to kill the stream by my having to go all the way back just to get somewhere interesting. Wait, what's my count so far? What's my death count? I'm going to take a second to read the chat. 
What is my death count, folks? And by the way, thank you for everyone who's hung in there. I know it's super late for like quick and all my friends across the pond. Nobody knows. Okay, Nobody's been counting. For a bit. <laughs> yeah, we can count after. Hmm. Go back and watch later. Yeah. Um, yeah. I also um, am very, thank you all, um, I think I was up to 20 viewers at one point, I mean, I would never oh, have thought please. 20 people would want to come watch me fail at <laughs> Bloodborne, um, but I have a good teacher, so there's hmm. that. So this is the doll lady, right? Yes, so... Do you like my names for people, the doll lady? Doll lady. Um, so, in front of you, there are some more messengers. So if mm -hmm. you go to them, they should give you something called the Beckoning Bell. Oh, is this what I wanted? Okay. Does this mean you can help me? It does. Yay! <laughs> oh, but here, okay, so important question. Is there friendly fire in this game? No. Shouldn't okay, good. Be. Good. Good, good. Okay, cool. Well, okay, so if there were 25 people, Vlad, I, bore, I successfully bored 10 people at one point out of leaving. Yeah, I bored anyone. <laughs> Give it Okay, view notes. Oh, woman, but reeks of doll. Okay, I, know, I do know this part of the lore. Okay, so if you push options, mm -hmm. um, you can put the beckoning bell into, your, one, into one of your quick slots. Ooh, um, what's all this? I'll leave it here because I know that you can't see as well. So the bottom two are going to be the notebook and the hunter's mark. But that's the rest of what I have. I mean, could you talk me through that real quick? What's that? What do you need? Um, so I've got my inventory open. Yeah. And I see the dis you know the, the descriptions of all these things. But can you talk me through what that actually means for each um, of these? So what's important in here? Um, so, so shining coins, they essentially are kind of like the breadcrumbs of Hansel and Gretel. Got so it. you can leave them behind so you don't get lost when you okay. go through all the loops and stuff. Got it. Um, I guess that's nothing, something I've never used. Cold blood dews, these like, when you pop them, like with a blood vial, you basically get a bunch of blood echoes. So it basically okay. gives you all the, uh, it's like a like a mini savings account that you can just open up. Um, so I tend to save them. I tend to get a bunch of them up and then I'll pop loads of them at once and I can use that to level up. Um, okay. The beckoning bell is what you'd use to obviously call for help. Uh -huh. The silencing blank, basically, you know, if you've gone into a co-op and you've gone, you know what, I've had enough of you. I don't like you. Fire, yeah, if you don't like me, you then go silencing blank, and then it just basically ends the cooperation. Okay. And so you person get sent back to their own world. Got and it. then Hunter's Mark is basically, if you're in a real kind of bother, then you can sacrifice all your blood echoes and go back to um, Lantern, um, ah. which I don't think is really useful at all. Because well, because if you die, the, the same thing happens, right? Exactly. So you may as well just oh, die. Weird. And then and then go back. Um, a lot of speedrunners use it though. Oh, um, that makes sense. To then get back to. If they don't want to waste time with the battle, battle. yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Um, notebook is what you then use to leave notes for other hunters. Well, I don't have any helpful yes. advice. I mean, could I say throw pebbles at the cleric beast? I mean, that was completely on accident. That was panic, that was... folks. Pure yeah, panic. <laughs> <laughs> panic items. There you go. So, yeah. go away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so blood echoes. I mean, I, I I vaguely remember you talking about these, but could you talk me through them again? Yeah. So they're basically, like I said, your currency. You get blood echoes every time you kill an enemy. Um, when you pop a thingy, like a cold blood jewel or what have you. Um, and they're basically your currency. What you do is you take it to the doll. And then you go, here are some blood echoes. Can I have an extra strength stat, please? And so on. And there's like an exponential cost, growth of cost to it. So once you, you know, it's not the same cost for every level. So your mm. first blood echo, you know, your first stat increase will be, say, 1,500 blood echoes. Your next one maybe to 2,000 or 3,000. So I have zero right now. Is that because I died? Yes, essentially, and then oh, if are you can get you me? back to the boss fight, <laughs> then we'll be able to get them back for you. 
Cool. Oh, that's right. You die, and then if you die twice, you lose. I just talked to the doll. Like, I hope that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, can do. I, there's not much she can. You can talk to her for some lore stuff, but she won't say much at the minute. Well, I just backed away from her, so I shut her up. Yeah, okay. So you just go back to the headstone. Um, and what you'll have to do is you'll have to go onto like your network settings on the menu, um, on the options menu. Am I missing something? So. Options. Um, if you head to Central Yarnum for okay, so um. Sorry, again, it's a delay. So, on options, if you push right twice, now go up. So, when you first push options, you're mm -hmm. on your inventory. Oh, system. If you push right twice, it got goes it, to got system. Got it, got it. Network. Down to network, and then matching regions will need to be worldwide. And then passwords, I've put access, all okay. lowercase. Okay. And so, what that should do is that when you ring the bell, and when I ring my bell to say yes, I want to help people, it should match us up. Is anybody thinking of that song? That song, ring my bell. Anybody? Ring my bell. Ding, ding, ding-a-ling. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they play it in Charlie's Angels when she says you can you can drop it in my box anytime. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so. Okay then. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> So, so um, now everyone knows access is our password, right? Okay. Yeah. Return. Century. Yes. So return. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And once that's done, then head back to Central Yarnum, um, and then I'll you ring your bell and I'll ring mine. That was a terrible rendition, by the way. It was not nearly as good as my Snake Eater rendition from the other day. Ah. Uh, wow. <laughs> See, you knew I would get that in a stream somehow. Yeah. I won't sing it. By the way, for the, for the record, everyone, this controller is much better. My other one is very sticky. I just love it because it's red, and I couldn't leave it behind when I went to GameStop, you, you know, months ago. But <laughs> but it's no good for this kind of thing. And for platformers, it's absolute. It's absolutely terrible. Okay, so I ring my bell by pressing square. Oh, that's cute. So have you <laughs> rung it yet? Yeah, that's cute. Cool. I've dingled my bell. Phrasing? We could do it Phrasing. all day. Phrasing. There we go. I was setting you up there. Oh, Vlad. Vlad always wants me to do a Valley Girl accent. I might do it if I... When I die again, I'll do a Valley Girl accent for you then. I am so frustrated that I had to go all the way back here. I feel like I did decently. I was maybe close on the Cleric Beast. You're doing alright. You did alright, yeah. Uh... The dodging. I just got stuck in that corner. Oh, I'm still trying to search for you, but I don't know why it's not... Is yours on your network? Discovered the chime oh. of a small resonant bell. Is that you? <gasps> it may be. It may be. Dude. Yes! <laughs> there was a fire fight! Uh, Hi! Are you blonde? Oh, you're so pretty! Uh, you're so pretty. Okay. Wait, is that your Bloodborne character in your profile? I thought that was Siri. It is. I tried to make Siri in Bloodborne, and this is the best that I could do. Oh, nice. Siri is the best. Now, for everyone watching, I'm very clear about this kind of thing, because I never... Oh! Well, okay, you just run and do you, boo-boo. Um, Hello. I am very clear about this kind of thing. I haven't played The Witcher. I haven't played any of the... Nice. I haven't played That's any of The Witchers, but I've read all of the books and short stories. So I feel like I'm allowed to comment on lore and such. What are these cool things you have? Uh, this is just the... the chain. Can I help with anything, or do I just let you do you? Yeah, no, you can come. Are you going to let me do some stuff? Oh, right, that's right, I have to go back to where I died to collect everything, right? Yeah. I'm gonna need those blood vials. Can we just run around and cause havoc? Is that a thing? Pretty much. Where's the dude with the gun? I want him. Let me, let me, let me. 
So there's no friendly fire, which means if we um, if we do things together or like so trying to fire. oop, okay. sorry. Yeah. So if we do this. Ah, good. Yeah, that's good. Nobody that's dies. Clear, okay. Yeah. Cool. I'll let you take the lead. <sighs> Why? Ah! <laughs> Every time, you oh jerk! My you jerk! <laughs> you, you missed an item up here, I think, as well. Oh, did I? Yeah. Every single flippin' time! Is there a guy up there? See? This is how distrust is created. There is a dude up there, you jerk! <laughs> <laughs> This, oh, this 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 is, is how this is how you ruin friendships. Is it? This oh, is yeah. why no one wants to play with you on the playground. <gasps> okay. All right. <sighs> Go oh, ahead and run. Us. I just I like guess. I just like the view from behind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Haha. -ha! I like how I've been playing this for what an hour and now I'm like all boldly running in and swiping at things that you've killed for me already. <laughs> Him. I'll, uh, I'll let you go. It was good to watch it in real time. I'm so sorry. I know that we've no, got to figure no, no, that no, out. Your fault. We've got to figure that out. I'm gonna go around the back. Behind us. Oh, there's more coming in. See what happens if you die? Do I have to summon you again? Yeah, essentially. Ugh. Dodge, dodge, Aaron, dodge. Okay. Dodge, dodge. For those of you who may have heard that, just substitute tiny for what you heard. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whenever I berate oh, no. myself, my my true colors come out. Oh, I do, I do as well. It's just the berating. It's during the oh, I should probably blood vial myself right now, huh? Oh, you've got. Can I do that yeah, too? I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, but I was just gonna use waste my ammo on it all rather than. Well, well but why can't I shoot things? You can shoot. Things. Why can't I shoot at stuff? Oh well, then. There's a guy here. Oh, that doesn't do jack. Okay, never mind. Yeah. That just irritates him and does nothing else. It's a little tickle. All right, what's gonna be the? I can run in as bait, perhaps, and maybe... So according to Nguyen, this section is to teach me how to use pebbles? Is that what he was saying? Yeah, he did, yeah. But uh, like I said, I've never used them. Well, apparently I love pebbles. Yeah, you <laughs> took them for the cleric beast. I did. <laughs> is that like a first, folks? I did anybody so. else try that? <laughs> I've never seen it. I mean, who knows? It could be some very interesting strats. I know. So, so far from this stream, what we have learned is, I say, is that the boss, like, 50 times. Is that the boss? Is that the boss? first boss now. That's... So that was the boss. The Cleric Beast is the boss. I may have been a bit eager and fell down. Oh, no. So I, I'll... It's okay. I'll come with you. I'll walk under this guy. Ah! Dodge. I'll get the guys with the pistols. And the little puppy. I'll get the puppy. I thought I was locked on to you, puppy. Oh. Got that run, huh? This is so much easier with two people. Yeah, it is. Oh, come on. How, How did I just die? <gasps> no! I died! So do you do you have to back out and ring your bell now? What the yeah, hell? We'll have to back we'll have to back out and ring our bells again. <sighs> well, we're right at two hours. What would you like to do? I'm leaving it up to you I'm since good, you're the one without I'm any sleep. I'm good to carry on. I am good to carry on. What does the stream think? Ring my bell. Why am I fiddling with my pants? Because that's where your bell is. It's not Yay. letting me ring it. <laughs> it's not letting me ring it. Good night, Jarvis. Thank you for joining us. 
Why is it not letting me ring it? Au revoir. Have you? Ooh, I don't know why is it. Weird. Is it? Did you ring it once already? I didn't think so. Did you push up on the D-pad? Uh huh. Oh no. All it does. What? So what that does is it um sacrifices your health for bullets if you push up on the D-pad. Uh, okay. Well, I did push up on the D-pad, I guess. Again. Yeah. Why did I do that? Um. So I've got the beckoning bell equipped, and I press yeah, square, it's, but it's not. It's dulled out. Isn't it? Maybe back out to the hunter's dream. How do I do uh, that? Back again. So if you head to the lamp, uh -huh. it'll ask if you want to get back to the dream. Okay, return to the hunter's dream. Yeah, and then we'll have done the same and I'll... I can't believe I died there. I was doing so well. Well, well for me. Well for the last two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because I didn't have to do much. It, does it feel good to be playing a little bit of Bloodborne again? Yeah, for you. I do miss it. I do miss it. I lo I just, in general, love the entire design of the game, the sound of the game, um, the combat. I think is one of the best um, in, in in most games I've played. I think it's I think it's better than Witcher's combat, in my opinion. Um, as much as I love the Witcher combat, I think it can be a bit. Uh, there's a, there can be a lot going on. So you do have like your light and heavy attacks, but then you also got like your different signs and when you should use them, which adds a nice dynamic. But I like straightforward, get in there, dodge right, dodge at the right time, shoot at the right time, hit at the right time, kind of fighting. Hmm. Maybe That's I have to go I get. I like Nia. It definitely um, already. I'm. I'm getting better about not just mashing buttons I'm learning how to okay you have to watch and make sure what you know what's going on because it does I th like we were talking about earlier it feels like there's a purposeful delay when I'm pressing things do I have to come get the bell back from you no I think hang on let me just double check something okay so what it does is it uses insight to ring which means... I have no insight. You've got no insight left, which means you can't use it until you get more insight. The only so way do to do that? that is to find items called Madman's Knowledge, which I don't think there are any at the minute. Oh, for kids. <laughs> or defeat your boss. Defeat or see a boss, basically, are the ways to get insight. Can I just run so, past everything right now? You can. You can. You can literally just sprint past everything until you get to the Cleric Beast. Okay, so I'm going to try to remember where I'm going. Yes. So let's talk about this. I go down to the um, area where all the villages are, and then I go up that left staircase, and then past that left staircase, keep going, keep running past those werewolves, right? Am I generally correct yeah, here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're going to see some stupid sprinting for me for a bit, kids. Just, just <laughs> remember that when you have got no enemies that are in immediate vicinity... To not sprint? Eat, not sprint, let that stamina come back, because if you are run past and they do like a quick attack kind of thing, mm -hmm. you need to be able to dodge. I'll fight some of these easy little spammy guys first, like this guy. I didn't scream this time. I would like some credit yeah. for that. Well done. Well done. Okay, cool. Alright, so wait. Insight. So what is this thing I just earned? That's the, um... Whatchamacallit? The blood... The blood whatever. It's the blood whatever. The blood whatever? <laughs> blood echoes. Blood echoes, yes. The blood whatever. So blood echoes... You can use them to buy items in the Hunter's Dream and you can use them to level up, essentially. So can I buy um, that insight at the Hunter's Dream? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to check to see, because you may be able to at a much later time, but maybe not time, where I am right now. But not, yeah, exactly, because you unlock more items when you get what's called hunter's badges, um, and that means you can buy more items at the at the shop shops. Hmm. 
Up, up, and away. Oh, why'd I go all the way back there? Blood echoes. I'm seeing everyone say echoes. I know I'm driving you nuts with this playthrough anyway. I'm calling the blood thingies. Blood, <laughs> blood, what, blood whatevers. They were blood whatevers. Blood films. I love how you do this huge, like, jump down there thing. And he doesn't turn around. Yeah, he's pretty oblivious. Well, I guess that what hap that's what happens. They're all, like, infected with something, right? Um... Kind of. Yes. <laughs> it's, yeah. Oh wait, I've died twice, so I've lost everything, right? You would have done, yeah. Well, dang yeah, it. These are fresh blood echoes now. You're starting again from zero. Well, great guys. I got a little too cocky, because I had help. Do I want to try fighting everybody again, or is it not worth it? It's not worth it. Maybe to it is honest, worth it. I, when I start new games, I just run past everyone. Okay. Alright. And I was running. Ah, shit! Well, that went poorly. <laughs> Did you see what happened? I missed the staircase. I'm about to. Oh. I missed the staircase. I was doing so well with my running for like 2.2 seconds. Yeah, no, you did well to. You easily got past all those sausages, you know. Yeah, well. Group. Mm. It's just pra it's practice. It's practice running. It's practice fighting. It's practicing all of it. All right, everyone. Now I'm angry. Now I'm angry. Oh. <laughs> this is when you make mistakes, though, when you get mad. It is. Come here so with your cleaver. The, um, with the cleric beast, if you hit lock on mm -hmm. um, and flick up, it will actually target his face. And then if you shoot oh. his face, flick up with the, the with the what the stick. the right stick. Yep. So then you'll get the lock onto his face, and if you shoot his face. It may be first time you shoot his face. He should drop to the ground, and then you can run in, hit R1, and you'll do this roll attack, which is your critical. But it's a good way to get a lot of quick damage on him. Only works once per fight, though. So. Oh, this camera. Oh, come on. Get up the stairs, you stupid, stupid thing! <laughs> Will oh they follow me God. to the next zone? Um, they take a, they follow you for a bit, but they don't follow you forever. Okay. All right, so I got past this, and then remind me where I'm going here. Up those other stairs across right. the way, right? Yeah, yeah, straight, straight across the opposite of the fountain. And then I've got those two wolfy things up here that yep. I can run past. Well, you've got to get past the gank squad first. Okay. And they'll follow me too. They'll follow you a bit, but not much. Alright, cool. I'm making it. I'm making it. I'm there making it. Go. Why? Go I go. don't want to... Sorry, the camera. Okay. Alright, Cleric Beast. Oh, what do I... Okay, I have to traverse the fog. Alright. Lock yeah, on. Yeah, you're going through, through, through actions like that. You're in this Ah. Blood vial, blood vial, blood vial. Go, 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 go this way, <laughs> go this way, another blood file. Well, I just died again, I think. <laughs> that camera, man, once it gets behind him, I did so little damage. All right, folks, how much longer do you want to watch this misfortune that is occurring for me? Give it, give it another couple of goes. What you'll find is that there'll be some times where you'll absolutely smash it, 
um, and you do really, really well, and you're getting down to like a quarter health or something, and then the next fight, it goes horribly wrong, nothing works, <laughs> miss your dodges, so it's a very fickle beast. I have zero blood vials. That doesn't bode well. No, oh, that's gonna make it a lot harder. Should I equip my pebbles, you think? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Or maybe my Molotov cocktails. What do you think? You could. How many do you have? Ten. Okay, that's a fair amount. I'd say you'd want to save at least five for Father Gascoigne. Okay. So I'd say you've got about five to use. But like I said, these don't respawn on the ground, so... Yeah. They're hard to come by. I definitely what you started can do attacking as well too soon. Is you can just go around and just beat loads of the, the villagers up, get loads of blood echoes that way, go back to the dream, come back, fight them all again, and build up your echoes, and then you can buy more blood vials. If you get a real pinch. So here's what we'll do. I will try one more time. And then we will call cool. it a night. Because <laughs> I have been you, uh, you and all of your the lovely people watching have watched me struggle, I think for a good couple hours. So I don't. Right. It's, the na it's the nature of the game, and I'm very glad to. that you've picked it up and have given it a go. Because I, yeah, I think I don't know. I reckon you'll get the bug and you'll want to keep playing it. I imagine I will because there's that whole. I think this is a game for stubborn people, maybe. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely, you think that I can beat this boss, it's easy, I can do it. And then yeah. once you do it, you get like this. Oh, my God, I did it. I actually did it. I got that and boss, yeah. finally. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're like, right, on to the next one. And it just goes on and on. Oh, quick several bullets, okay. Well, that's not what I want, but that's something. Hey, dudes, you gonna come up here? Did you see me? Did you see me? Don't you want to come up here? Yeah, you with the shield. Come on, dude. Let's hang out. Let's watch a movie. Oh. Oh, that was not good. That was me being overly confident. <laughs> he didn't have any items. Well, you're worthless. Get down the stairs. Get down the stairs. Get out of the way. Move your leg. Okay, okay. Anybody down here? Weren't there items down? No, because they don't respawn. Mm. Items don't respawn. You're not watching it in real time anymore. I am so, so upset about this. I did it to <laughs> us. I did it right. to us. No, don't worry. It's all part of the pump. Do you have any items for me? Worthless. Okay. <laughs> so ruthless. So ruthless. <laughs> This is what happens when I get angry. <laughs> Search corpse, yes. No, it's just sorry for everyone in their ears. It's just bullets. It's <laughs> it's useless to me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, everyone, for yelling. Yeah, come here with your pitchfork. Don't turn around. Uh oh. Something bring me down. Whoa. Oh. Anybody got stuff for me? Anybody? No. Okay, so I can go back to the hunters. I have 394 blood echoes. Should I go back cool. to the hunter's dream and buy some stuff? Let me check how much they yeah. are, because I'm in there now. Is that en enough to buy uh, anything? It's, uh, it's 180 blood echoes per vial. Okay, I'm up to 400. And 42. So why don't I buy two of those, just to call it good? They're not going to respawn if I go back up. I hope. Go back up where? Um, to where I would go into the hunter's dream. Oh uh, yeah, no, they will. Well, crap. It's totally worth it though. I would. Pass them anyway, though, yeah, I was going to so. say it's totally worth it considering I can. I'm so used to pressing down on the left analog stick. So we need to get back to the left before we head back to get that way and then oh. get up the staircase. Sorry. Okay, back up. 
Do all does the guy with the boxes respawn? Oh, I will be so mad if no. he comes out. But you just haven't killed these two in this run yet, so. Oh, that's right. That's why they were there. See, they're all starting to run together. But yeah. Shh. Okay. Back up to the lantern. Charred hunter garb. I just wonder what it was like to sit in the room when they were making up all this lore. And the yeah. art and all of that. I know, it's, it's crazy and... It's, uh, the Soulsborne games aren't games that give you a proper like storytelling experience, your traditional storytelling experience. It's all about um, looking at your item descriptions, where you found those items and so on, and the key little bits of dialogue that you do get, and you have to piece it all together, and how they tell the story in that way and piece it all together, I think, is in itself just mind-boggling uh I have an old hunter bell what's an old hunter bell um why is, is that helpful to us uh unlikely unlikely <laughs> um an old hunter why is an old hunter bell summoning bell um where do I go to purchase items um, so, back down by where the doll is, there's a, a fountain to the left of her. Oh, I see it. Go through things. The bath messenger. Purchase it. items. If I press the up arrow, I can sacrifice bullets for health. Is that what you said earlier? Um, yeah, you can, yeah. Cool. It's, uh... You can't do it the other way around. You can't sacrifice bullets for health. All right, I have three uh, three vials. That's better than zero. The no saves yeah. thing, by the way, I am an obsessive quick save person. You should see my near automata files. Uh, so the bell's not going to help us. I can't do anything with that to summon no, you. She's got no insight. No. Okay. Um. I mean, if we sprinted all the way to Father Gaskell, and you can get another one, but it's... Uh, How do I sprint to Father um, Gas? Oh. You can. You don't have to. You don't have to fight the Cloak Beast at all. Like, at all. It's just the closest one, and it's often people's first one. Let's give Father Gascoigne a try. And if I... The first time I die, we are done with the stream. We, the first time I, I die... Mean, what? <laughs> what do you think? First time. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, getting to Father Gascoin in itself is uh, it's not a straightforward run. Okay, well, never mind. Forget it. We'll go back to the Cleric Beast. Yeah, let's do This is my last beast. try on the Cleric Beast, folks. Now that I have a couple blood vials. See? Game's already getting to me. No screaming. No surprise on that one. It only took how many goes? <laughs> a few. Just We're not going to talk about it. Okay. I think this is the way I go with the the two dude men. Yeah. So in the lore, do they die over and over again too? You know, like how I die I over do. and over again. Yeah, they d they do. Um, a very familiar theme with the Soulsborne games is that there is this kind of undead curse that happens over and over again. I think the typical lore behind it is actually that when you die, you just kind of reawake um, in the Hunter's Dream and then the night starts over. So it's not a case of them respawning. It's technically a case of the night starting again and then going on the path. Hmm. And does that continue is that a continuation from Dark Souls? No, it's a separate universe. Okay. 
Um, in Dark Souls, it's very much a case of they're respawning because they are undead. Technically, they're undead, or the universe is form of the undead. Interesting. Um, yeah, so essentially what it is is that the blood that you're using to heal you is... From the Cthulhu cast. monster, right? <laughs> No. It's, oh, it gets more. You're laughing. It's know. more complicated than that. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's basically they've just got this monster blood which has healing properties, but and so basically the healing church then used it to heal everyone of all their ailments, but it, it's somewhat slightly cursed. In a sense, I can't. Oh, I, can't I almost a better phrase for it. And so. The curse um, basically starts turning people into monsters, um, and so the healing church then employs hunters to basically then go and hunt the monsters that have turned into monsters because of their practices of using the team. So, well, I died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, folks. We're spouting lore. <laughs> no, I wanted you to keep spouting lore. I figured there was no harm. So I have to get back to where I was or I lose all my stuff, right? You use your echoes, that's all. Oh, that's all? Well, I don't care about that. Right now. No. For now. Okay, folks, we've got nine minutes, so I'm just going to sprint see if I can get to the cleric beast, see if I can maybe not die. Ha! Huh. And then we'll call it a night once we get to two and a half hours, because you've all been more than generous, especially you quick with your time. Uh, you're good Considering how I'm doing. What was that? <laughs> well, apparently I'm tapping square every time I get into a fight now. So I'm going to switch it to a pebble oh, just no. for tradition. Not well, I only modified. used one. I only used one. That's right. You can buy Molotov cocktails as well. They're only 180 blood echoes. Ah. Lock on. Lock on, you idiot. Okay. He always gives me bullets. So what's the deal with pressing up? You sacrifice health. For bullets. Oh, it's the other way. God dang it. Okay. So I'm going to have to use a vial. That's embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> That's embarrassing. All right. Let the sprinting begin. So we're going to make a deal. I'm going to make a deal with all of you in the chat, too. Okay. <gasps> I got another blood vial. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to fight this one guy down here. And then I'm going to sprint. And if I not die when I'm sprinting, staircase. what's that? <laughs> and not miss the staircase. Yes, if I miss the staircase and die, we're going to end on that pathetic note. If I don't miss the staircase, we'll see how I do if I can get past everybody to the cleric beast. Well, but either way, twice now, so you got it. You got this. We'll see. I know he's a two-hit, two-hit guy now. Oh, but so I don't like you're that they're right there. It. You're, you're going to be, become a speedrunner before you know it. <laughs> I did watch but that it. one guy who did all the Dark Souls. So impressive. With, what was it, no kill, no weapons? Yeah. There's uh, some crazy runs out there. What's so difficult is I'm trying to not get stuck on this staircase. Oh, my stamina. Oh, my stamina. Okay, right here I can stop sprinting, right? Ish. Sure. Sure. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure I have enough stamina to get through um, this little area. Yeah, when you get to the fountain, you can, you can, yeah, you don't have to sprint that. Okay, and then here's where the doggies are. Hey, doggy, doggy. Hey, doggy, doggy. Hey, doggy, doggy, and people. Hey, doggy, doggy, and people and werewolves. And soon a cleric beast. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh man. Oh come on. Oh big dude with some crows. Oh I don't like this one bit. <laughs> okay. And of course there's no way to pause anything. 
No. All right, so what do I shoot him in the face? Lock on. Shh. Ah! I should have dodged. Should have dodged. Duck, dive, and dodge. It is a little bit delayed. Oh. <laughs> Look how much health he has left. Look at how much health, people. Look at this. <laughs> well, I think that does it. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Silence. You know what I didn't do this time that I should have done? What? Throw pebbles. some pebbles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, anyone? Any thoughts from the chat? I will stare at the chat for a couple minutes here. Not bad, though. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> well, I lost a bunch of people to sleep or disappointment, but... Well, quick, uh, parting advice. How was that overall? Oh, Be it honest. Was, no, it wasn't bad. Don't worry. It wasn't bad. It takes time to get used to just the mechanics and the movements of things. Um, there is a deliberateness to the buttons, which I think is what's coming across as like being a delay, and it may be a delay, but yeah, it, it does force you to. Well, I want to be clear about this. It's not that yeah. I think that there's like a delay between. I think it's purposeful. I think it's so that I don't just yeah. mash buttons yeah, the whole definitely. time. But it's just it's fast paced, but then slow paced as well. Mm -hmm. So like I could hit R1 like ten times and. You know, and I'll probably only strike three or four times because, mm. yeah, it's a very deliberate kind of motion. Got it. Got it, got it. Um, oh, I don't know. Parting advice wise, though, it really is just keeping at it. I would um, I say, for the time being, just sprint to the cleric beast and just work at it. And just keep working at it and keep working at it. Yeah, to be honest. Cool. Um, there's no real. There's no real quick fix, there's no real tips. I mean, you could use a few Molotovs, but I, in boss fights, when I'm using Molotovs, I use them at the end of the fight. Ah. Uh, just throw their health down really quickly. Got because it. Because if I use them at the beginning, and then I die halfway through the fight, then I'm not getting those back. Got um, it. Because <laughs> if I kill them with the Molotovs, then I know they've been well used and they've not been lost and wasted, do you know what I mean? Got it, yeah, because your inventory doesn't necessarily replenish unless yeah. you find yourself. Okay, cool. All right, well, I don't know yeah. what to say. I, uh, I've i now played Bloodborne for a little bit. Um, well, I hope you liked it. I, I definitely do. My stubborn streak has yeah. come out. Yeah, my stubborn streak Hell has come yeah. out, so we'll see how it goes. I think my plan for next week for you and everyone else who's still watching, same mm -hmm. time, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, but quick if you're available, great. If not, other people can yeah. ghost. I have no problems with that. I'm going to try and at least get... I will keep you all posted throughout the week if I get to play um, where I am so you kind of know what level I've gotten up to and all that. Um, so that I can ring the bell, hopefully. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not suffer by myself. Um, but yeah, quick, do you yeah. have any parting, parting anything for anybody? Parting stuff? No, don't think so. I mean, I'm doing my um, stream week. That's starting on Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah. What times and yeah. days do you think you'll be doing things? I, I plan on every day for at least an hour and a half, two hours. Okay. Um, Sunday and Saturday being a bit longer. But yes, I'm just, uh, I want to get the Access Army XCOM 2 stream nice and wrapped up yes if, uh, <laughs> yeah so if i do decide to end it there uh end my streaming days there i'll uh i'll have tied it all off nicely so okay well hopefully you don't but un understandable people have lives if yeah. you do um what do you do you have any idea what time or just watch your twitter 
I yeah, keep an eye on my Twitter. I think I'm gonna aim for the first stream to start at around twelve or one GMT. Okay. Um. Yeah, uh, and that'll be yeah access access army, um, and I'll be playing that through until that playthrough's done, and then I'll probably do some PlayStation VR during at some point because I want to start playing Astro Bot again. Oh, and, uh, I've wanted to play Astro Near, near yeah. Automata, for sure, and maybe some party games. Well, please let me know when yeah. you do Near Automata. You know I'm just itching to ghost yeah. for you on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, yeah, hopefully sure. I'm not at work, but if I am, I will just sit and silently scream in my desk, at my desk. <laughs> 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 but yeah, cool. All yeah. right, well, we'll watch your Twitter for sure. Um, thank you again for ghosting for me. And I guess what I'll do is I'll just make sure I'll leave that same password and keep it on Worldwide. And you guys can look for yeah. Big Boss Bird um, if you're on Bloodborne and we yeah. happen to be there at the same time. Yeah, and I'll yeah. do the same. Like, if um, if you see me playing Bloodborne, I'll fire off my uh, resonant bell on the same password. And if you're looking for help, and I'll, I'll be there. I might even do that. Who knows? might do that as a stream as well at some point. That would be fun. Yeah. High leveled character, I'll uh, show us your shops. <laughs> yeah. Get on Bloodborne and see if anyone needs help fighting yeah. some bosses or what have you. Very cool. All right. Cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, thank you all for watching, and especially for those who've popped in and out. I've seen the numbers go up and down. I know everybody's got to sleep sometime. Um, so thank you for those who it's really late or early in the morning. And for everybody else, um, be brave, be bold. And I will see you all in the next one. Uh, Flamingo out.